Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Game Vortex. I'm Vitaly and finally I'm more or less in a quiet place where I can record uh, with my usual setup. I'm just waiting to move some furniture items uh, here so it will look a bit better. I uh, apologize if I sound weird. I'm feeling under the weather with the nose and throat. So in any case, we have quite a lot to talk about since I've posted the last video. So it's going to be about the Nintendo Switch again, and there's a lot of interesting things that came out. Uh, let's talk about the good things and, and the things that got me a bit worried. So a couple of days ago uh, was the Jimmy Fallon show, right? Uh, Reggie came over there, as usual, presented them with uh, Mario Run, which is great. But if you're an Android user, you're pretty much fucked at the moment. Uh, most likely Apple scored some kind of a financial deal with them. And obviously, after that, the main part of it was is that they showed off the Nintendo Switch. Uh, actually, like, he lifted the box, um, and there you have what I assume is already a retail unit. Uh, because, I mean, it's only, what, three months left, roughly? Uh, we're about a month away from the actual unveiling uh, with all the information. I just wouldn't expect a lot from that, because you know yourself that uh, Nintendo says a lot of things, but they don't say everything. Uh, some of the hardware things we might not find out until somebody actually takes this uh, console apart. Now, what I've noticed in this video when Jimmy uh, was playing uh, was quite interesting. What got me a little bit concerned and worried was the screen. I mean, I've watched in the highest quality that they had available there, and to me, the screen looked very kind of washed out and pale which got me worried a little bit worried because on the if you're gaming on the tv it doesn't make much of a difference doesn't it but if you are on a portable gaming console screen is a big deal it really is a big deal and you want a good screen to show off the vibrant colors now if the price is really is 249 with all the hardware they have there uh, i think that that's the area where they might have saved some money as far as we know, it's a 720p screen, uh, but to me, the colors look kind of pale and washed out on when he was playing The Legend of Zelda. I don't know, maybe it was just the angle, which also uh, makes me think what kind of viewing angles will this screen have, because from the video, it didn't really look that good. I mean, come on, e even if you take the PlayStation Vita, that the first one that I have, the first edition of it, is an OLED screen, which is just amazing. If you're playing something like uh rayman legends or anything like that like rayman origins that are like that game just pops like the color just pop now i don't expect them to use an oled screen but we will see depending on how much it is and what kind of a hardware do they have now that was the first rumor that we have here going uh about is the screen i mean i honestly honestly hope that they are running 1080p on the screen and 720p uh on the actual uh, Nintendo NX, uh, no, NX, sorry, Switch, in this case. I actually like the NX more as a name. Why is that? Oh, come on, it's 2017 by the time the console comes out. I mean, you you can't seriously go for 720p on the TV because that would be insane. That would be seriously insane. This console is supposed to be more powerful than the Wii U. Wii U output in 1080, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have a Wii U. I still have a Wii, which I don't even know where it is. In my mother-in-law's house, probably. Now... Uh, this is the thing more in light. This basically has been an article about how will it work, uh, the Nintendo Switch. And the rumors from the infamous uh, Nintendo's uh, leaks, uh, the employees at Foxconn, is actually saying that this console will overclock itself when it's docked. So basically the CPU-GPU combo that they have there will overclock itself above the specifications that are set uh, by the manufacturer or the in this case by nvidia in this case so basically what it says is when you plug it in uh the cpu gpu combo will actually uh overclock itself by raising the clock speed um i wouldn't expect a lot of gain gains from that but i mean depending on what what kind of a hardware is in there you can expect i mean 10 to 20 percent more performance maybe at best uh what i actually think about it is this dock over here that you see, uh, it's supposed to have a fan inside 
to cool down the system. And this is uh, a little bit worrying. I, I mean, it, especially with the overclocking is like this thing is with the screen. Any kind of excessive heat will actually damage the screen. So I'm, I'm actually optimistic here. I mean, it's a cool idea. I mean, it does look cool. Uh, and I want to believe in it, which I do. I mean, I'm gonna buy one for sure because it looks like exactly what I want. Can you imagine carrying this around instead of fucking PS4 and Xbox One, which is just gig gigantic with a lot of fucking cables going in and out. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I want to know as well how the controller charges. I know that this uh, this thing in the middle is supposed to have additional battery pack over here, as you can see uh, in the middle here. But how the hell does this whole thing actually function and charges it doesn't really look particularly comfortable to be honest this controller but in any case uh back to overclocking mode that they have on the nintendo switch it's uh that that's apparently how it's gonna work but what i hope that this gives us in general i hope that if the nintendo switch becomes successful in the market and i really want them to be because we really need more competition on the market that is beneficial for all of us gamers uh, I also hope that after some kind of a success of this thing, Sony might come up with something similar or at least with a new portable system because I don't really want the portable gaming to die because portable gaming is great. This fucking shit here, this gaming on this stuff is, is abysmal. It's bad. You don't have a hard control. Yeah, you can buy a joystick, but it, it taxes the battery. I mean, I use my phone. Uh, the only game that I play here is CSR Racing 2. I don't know why, but I'm just into this drag racing bullshit. Other than that, if I install any kind of game, I literally delete it within uh, the first hour or two if it doesn't hook me. And most of the games don't. A lot of them are fucking free-to-play garbage that, that just milk you out of the money with all those timers and, and energy and stuff. Those that are f not free but paid, uh, what you have is basically another crap where you have garbage controls now this on the other hand portable gaming and hybrid gaming whatever you want to call it this is a new segment for nintendo and for anyone else in this matter actually i don't think sony will come out and do something similar because they they, they still want to be that console uh, of choice for people at home and as you can see right now they're going in a slightly different direction they're going with 4k uh, so I highly doubt that they'll release something similar because can you imagine like the console, the price of the component to push anywhere near the 4K uh, and the heat, the amount of heat that is going to be coming out. That's the reason why this tablet is so thick as you can see it's probably like close to a centimeter thick which in, in, in modern media times uh, and technology wise is making huge jumps and everything becomes thinner and thinner but this thing is quite thick and i assume that that's due to a lot of uh hardware inside and most likely there's some kind of a cooling system in the actual tablet because as you can see there uh, you can't see on this photo but if you look at the other uh, photos of the video of the unveiling of the switch it's got it's got really big grills on the bottom i think of the unit for the actual uh fan to cool down the system so yeah other than that i think there's nothing else uh, interesting here just talks about overclocking and we are exactly one day uh, one month away from from the official unveiling of all the stuff that they want to tell us on the january the 12th so hopefully we'll see what else uh is new what's good what's bad uh, what kind of a game should we expect what kind of a third party support which is going to be crucial um this bezel though on the screen is so big that that, that stood out to me straight away and uh, like you know when you go to the shop and you see those super cheap chinese tablets like that's the kind of a bezel where you where you get in those things but anyway uh that's all information i have for you for today it's a quite an interesting discussion because i mean as tight lit as nintendo is nothing stops anyone from leaking shit about this thing constantly the only thing i really want to know is more about storage options and especially what hardware is it running my bet is that it's going to be at least as powerful as the ps4 maybe a little bit more because if this thing is spotting uh, tegra x2 
Uh, NVIDIA is one of those companies that makes gigantic leaps of almost doubling the, the, the power of their chips with each new generation. So if the Tegra X1 three years ago managed to pump out one teraflop, this thing might go close to two, which is great, but at the same time also important to know what kind of power consumption will it have and how long will the battery last in the mode playing proper game. So yeah, are you excited still? Do you have yours pre-ordered or not yet? I mean, I'm not pre-ordering anything. I'm not that kind of a guy who pre-orders things. I mean, the days for that has finished. Though with this thing, uh, Nintendo is a master of artificial demand, so you might as well just pre-order the unit. I wouldn't do it for the games. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're excited about this and also what do you hope that Nintendo will show off on the 12th of, of January next year. Um, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to this video, like it if you like it, uh, share it, and I'll see you all on the next episode of Game Vortex. And again, sorry that I look and sound so weird, kind of spaced out. It's just because I'm not really feeling well at the moment. But yet I'm still here at almost midnight and doing this episode, and then I still have to edit it and upload it. So yeah, thank you very much guys, girls and everyone else, and I'll see you next time.